Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. All right, everybody, so for today's video, we are just kicking back and doing some regular everyday home decor. Now, you guys know that my absolute favorite color is Nantucket Blue, so you will be seeing a lot of that color in this video, but if that's not your jam, that's okay. These projects are just for inspiration, so you do you with whatever colors you want. Now, of course, in this video, I've used mostly Dollar Tree items and some items from Dollarama. So with all of that being said, you guys, let's get in to the first DIY. Okay, and here we go, DIY number one. All right, you guys, so taking these wooden circles that I got at the Dollar Tree, I just removed the tags and I'm taking a wooden skewer also from the Dollar Tree and you can see there I just cut it down to be as tall as the wooden circle there and then I'm just filling the hole in with a piece of that skewer. I'm doing this because I don't like when I'm using filler it'll fall through and I don't want to use too much filler so this kind of fills the hole a little bit better and then I will go in after and then use my my wood filler so check that out. <laughs> And so here I am taking my wood filler. I really like this stuff because it um, it actually dries the color of the wood, so you really can't see it. So just filling up the rest of the hole, and then I will be sanding that down so it's nice and smooth, just like that. And there we go. So here I'm just trying to find the center of my circle here. So I lined it up on my measuring mat, found the middle, and I'm just making two lines here so that, and you know, kind of where they intersect, that's the center. Now the first one I did have to measure a couple of times, but you know, it worked out absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to do that to both of my wooden circles here. Measure, measure, get a measuring mat. I will link mine down in the description box. And then using the biggest drill bit that I could find, I am just drilling a hole in the center. Now, this first one, I am not going all the way through. I'm only going about halfway. So you do have to do it a little bit slower um, and a little bit more carefully. But the second one, I do go right through the wood circle just like that and then sanding it down just so that it's nice and smooth just like that and do that to both of them and then magically these are going to be painted white and I also used a thicker uh, dowel I'm pretty sure I got it at Dollarama and now these little rattan balls, I got those at Dollarama as well. And there are two different sizes. These are natural color. Um, at Dollarama, I believe they have like a really dark brown as well, which would look amazing on this project too. And so I'm just going to thread those um, rattan balls right onto my wooden dowel here. So I'm using four of the smaller ones and one of the bigger ones here and just putting that right through just like that. Ooh, I love this project. It's so, so pretty. So here I'm just jamming that dowel into the hole that I created there and then using my hammer, just pounding it through. Now this is the bottom of our little, I don't know, it's a, it's a candle holder, a plant holder, whatever you want to use it for. And then threading those um, rattan balls down onto the dowel and just using my uh, my miter shears, I am going to cut off the, the piece of the dowel there. Now I did leave about, I don't know, maybe a 
half an inch, quarter inch, so that I could pound that into the other wooden um, circle here. So using my hammer again, just pounding that in. And mine turned out really super lovely, you guys. It worked out perfectly. Look at how pretty. So moving on to DIY number two. All right, so we are going to take a couple of these houses from the Dollar Tree. Now this first one, it's the shorter, I, I'm pretty sure there are three different sizes. So this is the shorter and the widest size of these houses. And you can see there that I just popped out the back. It came out pretty easily. You can see like some of that paper is um, stuck on the frame portion of it, but I just took my sanding block and just sanded off all of that paper there. And then somebody called me out not too long ago about not removing tags. So here I am removing the tags. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, and so with this tissue paper package, normally I'm using the, the green, like the, the leaves, um, but this time I love this striped tissue paper. It's so pretty. It is like a really nice gray stripe, kind of, you know, like beachy looking, I guess. And so I just cut off a little piece there to fit the, the back of my house frame here. And I'm using some Mod Podge and putting a thin layer on there and then placing my tissue paper down onto that Mod Podge. Now you guys, do not rub the tissue paper. Make sure you just pat it down so that it does not rip. And then I am taking my sanding block, sand it off the excess, and using another layer of Mod Podge to seal that tissue paper down. And now, so I've taken some of this raffia. This is actually from a hula skirt from Dollar Tree. And I just make a knot in there and then I cut off the like the loop. I don't know. You know what I mean. Um, and, the, <laughs> and then, yeah, this is completely out of focus. I'm so sorry. I have no idea what I did to my camera, but, um, you can tell that I am just hot gluing that raffia to the, the house there on either side and making sure like that, that little knot that I had, um, it's not, it's not quite center. It's a little bit off center. And then I am going to clip down those tails a little bit, you know, feather them out and make them look fabulous. <laughs> and this little uh, flower I did get from Dollarama as well. It's just a little paper flower. You can get things just like this at the Dollar Tree too, you guys. And so now I've taken some of my black chalk paint and I'm just painting up the entire frame here. All the outside, the inside, all of the edges. And then taking some hot glue, I'm just going to reattach the back onto the frame, just like that. And I do, I don't show it, but I do paint the, the ridge of the back as well with the black chalk paint. And here I'm just using some contact paper from the Dollar Tree just to finish off the back so it doesn't look all oogly in the back there. The project is nice and finished. I know some people use the like shipping paper, but I think that the contact paper works amazingly. And so this little house, it's not the same as 
the other one that I use. This one is actually, it came like, one was a chalkboard and one is a whiteboard. Um, so I just used the back of the whiteboard one. I know the other side is white, you guys, but I wanted it to be, um, like nice and matte obviously and for this Nantucket blue paint to adhere to it really nicely so I did tape off of the all, all the entire frame there and here I am just removing the tape you know all satisfying it's so fantastic <laughs> and I cut this deckle off on my Cricut it says but most of all we love each other the font that I used is called American Typewriter, just so you guys know. Normally I'm terrible with fonts, but this one I use all the time. I think it's such a cool font. So just placing that down there, and then that is it for this project, you guys. They go together so well. I absolutely love this. Right, you guys I hope that you're enjoying these projects today all of these DIYs are super easy and they're so inexpensive to make so if you like that kind of thing make sure you like this video and tap that subscribe button also set your notifications to all and then you will never miss one of my videos so with all of that being said you guys let's get back into those projects and here we go with the last one and DIY number three. Okay, so I am using these paint stir sticks that I got at Dollarama. You guys, I don't know what it is, but it might be just Canada. Um, I cannot find the five gallon paint stir sticks um, at Walmart. So this project actually would be so much better if you can find those at your Walmart because it would be a heck of a lot bigger. Now I love how this turned out. It's super cute, but I wish I could find those five gallon paint stir sticks. So you can see here, I'm just using a popsicle stick and I'm just adhering the three of them together. And then I am going to take my chippy brush and my Nantucket blue again. This color, you guys, I have it all over in my house. It's so, so pretty. And I just gave it a very, very rough coat. And then using a little bit of white chalk paint and a stencil brush from Dollar Tree, I just distressed it down just a little bit. And so this square, this wooden square, um, I got it at Dollar Tree. I believe it comes in a pack with like two circles and two squares um, and two hearts or something like that. And I just painted that up in my black chalk paint. And now using this self-adhesive stencil from the Dollar Tree, these are awesome, you guys. If you can find them, pick them up because if you don't have a Cricut, these are absolutely perfect and they're so cute. So just using my um, Debbie brush and some white chalk paint, I'm just dabbing into the stencil here and then pulling it off while it's still wet. And then I just placed it back onto the, the backing there and just used a paper towel and rubbed off the excess paint and it's ready to go for next time. These stencils are awesome for real. And so I'm just taking some hot glue and adhering that little wooden square to our paint stir sticks here. I love this project, you guys. It is so cute. Like I said, if, it, if I had those big paint stir sticks, oh, it would be so great. So again, using some of the raffia from the hula skirt, that I got at the Dollar Tree. Summertime is coming, you guys. Those hula skirts will be out in no time. 
I just took a length of it and made a knot, hot glued the knot to the center there, and then just clipping off the excess of the tails there just to make kind of a rough bow. Now, using that uh, those flowers, again, that I got at Dollarama, um, hot gluing one into the center there, and you guys, like how cute is that? It's so, it's so cute. But we're getting to the best part. Oh my goodness. Okay, and of course, you know, it didn't look completely even, so I did have to cut it down just a little bit more. Now, I saw this technique on TikTok. So I'm just taking a straw and using my teeny little detail scissors, I am cutting a whole bunch of little slits into the end of this straw. Um, use You have to use some really teeny scissors, you guys, because you wanna make sure that you get a whole bunch of really, really small like pieces on the, on the straw there. And then you just want to fan them out. So you can see here, I'm just pushing on it. And then I see that there are a few pieces that aren't really that teeny. So going back in with my scissors and cutting those down and making this like super, super feathery. So you can see here, there you go. That is exactly what you want for this. Eh? a close-up <laughs> this worked out so perfectly I was so happy you guys okay so now I'm just going to take that little it, it's almost like a little brush like a fan brush almost that we've created here and dab that into some uh, white chalk paint and here I'm just testing out to make sure that it is actually going to work and this works like a freaking charm, you guys. I was a little bit nervous, so I didn't have a lot of paint on this little apparatus that I've created here. But after a while, I got super confident and using a little bit more of my chalk paint and going in. And so this is making like the dandelion uh, kind of flower, right? when you blow to make a wish or you know if they're in your yard then it's just a whole bunch of weeds <laughs> and so I will do that three different times you see how it just appears like these little dandelion flowers they just appear before your eyes it's so amazing and then taking a tiny little detail brush here, I just dabbed it into my white chalk paint and I'm just creating a few stems coming down from my dandelions. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Like with this project, obviously it's really nice and rough and you know, it does not have to be perfect. If your lines aren't completely, you know, connected or they're a little bit wobbly, that's fine. It does not matter. Just use your creativity. Let it flow. And that is it for this project. Like how cute is this? I absolutely love it. I am going to use that technique for those dandelions on a bigger scale, I think. It's so pretty. you guys that is it for these projects today I absolutely love how simple they are and these are made with items that you can find at the Dollar Tree all the time so you know that's amazing now if you would like to support my channel, I do have a buy me a coffee link down in the description box. It really, really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you so much. And let me know down in the comments which one of these was your favorite. 
And as always, you guys, if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye, guys. I literally just filmed all of my intros on mute. What's up with you? <laughs> Look at this handsome fella. No. Oh, so cute. <laughs> that was better. You open my oomph. A little in bit of the, oomph. In the arts. Oomph. In the arts? Yeah. Breezarts. There you go. Breezarts. <laughs> was that enough oomph? Yes. Yes, nice. All right, you guys, so for today's video, we're just kicking back and doing some regular everyday home decor. Decor. Decor? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah? We need milk. Yeah. Yeah. We need milk for what? For cereal. Mm -mm. Cereal. Yeah. It's about all the cooking that he does. <laughs> And subscribe. Set those. Bah! Bah! So I went a little old school today, and I threw some mousse into the into the quaff. It is voluminous. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That sound okay? That sound good? Are we on it? Did we get it? Did we got it? Okay, sweet. <laughs> oh, here comes another one. She's going to the store. Get milk. <laughs> Easter break, people. It's Easter break. You banged the table and the camera moved. Give the give the subscribe button a little tickle. <laughs> <laughs>